Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for us for today's Families Live Museum Mornings. My name is Lisa. I am the Senior Learning Manager here at the Jewish Museum. We are so pleased that you've been able to join us. This is the final video for our Family Summer Challenge. So this August, the Jewish Museum London challenged you and your family to complete your Arts Award at Home, a nationally recognized certificate for engaging with and participating in the arts. You can use any of the Museum Mornings videos released during the month of August to help you complete your Arts Award logbook. And don't worry, there is still time to participate. So for more information on how to participate to get your free logbook, you can click the link in the description of this video. So do take this exciting opportunity to participate. So this week, our theme of the week is laughter. And for our object today, I have selected a photograph from our collection. So I'm going to share my screen now and we can have a look at the photo together. So just give me one second. Okay. Right. So here we go. Let's take a close look at this photograph together. So what do you notice first about it? You can let your eyes wander. I notice first that it's a photograph in black and white. So that means it must be an older photograph. I also notice a beautiful woman looking off towards the left. What is she wearing? I can see a big fur coat and a hat with a shiny pin on the side of it. Look closely at the woman's face. How do you think she is feeling? I think she looks peaceful and calm, but maybe a teeny bit bored. Maybe it took a long time to wait for the photograph to be taken. This is a photograph of a woman named Meta Siegel. She was a famous actress in the Yiddish theater in the East End of London. Yiddish theater came to London with Jewish immigrants around 120 years ago. That's a long time. Yiddish was the language that many of these immigrants spoke. They came from Eastern Europe. Yiddish is written with Hebrew letters and it's similar to kind of both Hebrew and German, a bit of a mix. So Meta Siegel was born in 1901 in Vilna in Lithuania. Her father was a Hebrew teacher and she went to grammar school in Lithuania and later she joined an acting group where soon she was playing the starring roles. Meta married her husband, David Siegel, in 1928. He was also an actor. And in 1933, they moved together to London's East End. In London, they joined the company of the Pavilion Theatre in Whitechapel. Soon, Meta and the rest of the company were touring the globe from Belgium to South Africa. 
she was incredibly hardworking and a very dedicated actress. Once, when she was sick in a hospital in London, she discharged herself from the hospital just to travel all the way up to Manchester to perform in a play. She said that she did not want to disappoint the audience. The next day, she traveled back down to London to return to her sickbed in the hospital. Now that is definitely a story of a very dedicated actress. After touring the world with her Yiddish theater company, Meta returned to London with her husband in 1939. They became members of the new Yiddish theater company, the Alexandra Theater, and later the Grand Palais Theater. She worked at the Grand Palais until it closed in 1970. And then she toured with the company in a sort of pop-up theater all around the country. So that's really all we know about Meta's life. But personally, I would definitely like to know more. Wouldn't you? If you could ask Meta any questions about her life, what would you ask? You can share with the person next to you or you can pop an answer in the comments below. I might ask Meta what her favorite play was or did she have a favorite costume that she liked to wear? What would you ask Meta? You can also record your answers in your logbook for Arts Award. Do you think that it's difficult to be an actor like Meta? I think actors must be very brave to perform in front of a lot of people. Actors need to have many different skills. They need to memorize lines, so they need to have a good memory. And they need to be really creative to bring a character to life. Sometimes they might need to know how to sing or dance. What other skills do you think you need to be an actor? I'm going to show you another photograph now. So let me just change the slide. There we go. So this is a photograph of Meta on stage at the Grand Palais Theater. This was taken around 1935. Now we don't know exactly which woman in the photograph is Meta, but it's most probable that she is standing next to the man who might even be her husband, David, as they often performed in leading roles together. Meta acted in many different type of, types of plays from romance to drama and even comedy. So, since our theme for the week is laughter, we are going to take inspiration from the life of Meta Siegel and try some playwriting. We are going to have a go at writing our own comedy scenes. Have you ever done any playwriting before? I haven't either. So this was the first time that I had tried this. So first, I'm going to give you some top tips on how to write a comedy scene. So you're going to need some paper and a pen or pencil, something to write with. 
so that you can write down your scene. So before you begin, you will want to do some brainstorming. So you need to think about your characters. Who is going to be in your scene? Will it be between just two people or a group of people? How old are they? Where does your scene take place? That's the next thing you need to think about. This is called the setting. So you need to decide on characters and you need to decide on a setting. So think about where your scene is happening. Next, you need to think about the plot. So the plot is the content. So what happens in your scene? How does it begin? What happens next? And how does the scene end? How? Now we need to think about how we can include some comedy in our scene. So there's lots of different ways to include comedy and there's no right or wrong way. So whatever you come up with will be brilliant. So for example, one character could tell a joke to another character. Sometimes it can be funny when somebody says something that just doesn't make any sense. Another really good way to get ideas is to watch some funny plays or TV shows and to write down the parts that make you laugh the most. Why did that make you laugh? What was funny about it? Once you have some ideas, you can try to include some of those in your scene. So I started to write a little bit of a scene and I'll share just a little bit with you. Now, I think it's funny because it's a little bit crazy. So the scene begins in a far away village. There's some rolling green hills and a house in a little square. And inside the house, live two best friends. So the scene opens with the two friends waking up in the morning, okay? So they wake up and they start to yawn and they open their eyes and the two friends look at each other from across the bed. And one friend lets out a big scream Ah, says one to the other. And then the other friend screams as well. Ah! The first friend, whose name is Thelma, turns to the other friend named Joanne. And Thelma says, Joanne, what's happened to your face? Your nose is missing. And Joanne turns to Thelma and says, Thelma, your nose is missing. So Thelma and Joanne get out of bed and run into the bathroom. They look in the mirror and they touch their face and they realize that they're missing their nose. Both of them have woken up without their nose. So that's a little bit from the beginning of my scene. I just try to make something that would be really silly and imagine a world where what would happen if you woke up and your nose was missing? And how would you go throughout your day? You wouldn't be able to smell anything. So that's how I tried to include a little bit of comedy in my scene, but I'm sure whatever you guys come up with will be much better and really good. So we would absolutely love to read your comedy scenes, or you might even be able to act them out with friends and family around you. 
You can share them with us on social media if you want to by tagging at Jewish Museum LDN and using the hashtags Museum Mornings. So thank you very much for joining me today to learn about the Yiddish theater actress, Meta Siegel, and have a go at writing some comedy scenes. Do join us next week on Sunday, the 6th of September at 11.30 a.m., where my colleague Shireen will be running an activity on the theme of promises. So thank you so much. And don't forget to click the link in the description to get your Arts Award logbook. And you can use any of the videos in August to complete your logbook and get your certificate. So thank you so much and have a great weekend. Bye.